Hey everybody, it's Lauren, personal trainer at the Dublin Rec Center. This is my son, Ryder, and I'm hoping everybody's staying healthy and finding ways to stay active. So in order to help with that, Ryder and I are gonna do a workout with you guys today. I've created a workout that is made up of mini circuits. So each circuit has three exercises. Ryder and I are going to demonstrate each exercise today in the, all three circuits so that you will then be able to do this workout at home. This, a copy of this workout can be found on the Dublin Community Rec Center page in the fitness landing page. So let's get moving. For circuit one, the exercises will be plank jacks. The second one will be legs raised and hold, and we will finish it up with some squat jacks. The first exercise, plank jacks, we are going to show you two versions. So, you will get yourself into a forearm plank position. So again, keep in mind, you want a nice 90 degree angle with your arms, elbows are directly under your shoulders. Okay, so get into a plank position. The plank jack, you are going to jump your feet out to the side and bring them back to the center. Now, if you want to take out the jump, you may just walk your feet out to the side and then walk them back into the center. So Ryder and I will do about three plank jacks for you. I'll do the modified version. Ryder's going to do the jump. All right. All right, we're gonna go ahead and stay on the floor and we're gonna go right into our legs raised and hold. Now, with the legs raised and hold, ideally you want your feet to be about six inches off the ground. However, sometimes when we try to do that, our lower back starts to arch, and that's okay. So in order to prevent that or stop that from happening, you can take your legs and just raise them up to the point where you feel like you can keep your, flat, your back flat the whole time, okay? So we'll go ahead and start. Ryder's gonna keep his legs up a little bit higher. I'm gonna do the standard six inch. Okay, we'll hold for about five seconds. Ready, Ryan? Go ahead and finish up with some squat jumps. Ryder's going to be showing you the front version. I will show you the side angle. Okay, with a squat jump again, feet are in squat position. So shoulder width apart, toes pointed forward. Okay, and for the squat jump, you want to create momentum. So we're gonna, that's where our arms come into play. So when we squat, our arms are going to come back so that we can then jump and our arms help us go higher off of the ground. All right, we'll do about three of these. Okay, that wraps up circuit one. For circuit number two, we will be doing push-ups, sit-ups, and some lunge jumps. So to start, we'll work on some push-ups. Ryder's going to do the standard push-up. I'm going to do the push-up on my knees. Now, when you're on your knees, you want to be sure you're in the proper position. So in order to do that, I like to put myself into a straight arm plank, then I drop my knees down, and this lets me know that I'm in the right position because when I go to come down, my whole body is coming down with me. So what you want to try to avoid is having your backside out in the air and doing this, okay? You want your whole body to come down with you. All right, so we'll go ahead and demonstrate about five push-ups for you. Ready, Okay, two, one. Try to get your nose as close to the floor as possible. Okay, we'll go ahead and stay on the floor, and we'll go right into our sit-ups and our crunches. So Ryder's gonna do a full extension crunch, which he'll go ahead and demonstrate for you right now. Okay. So as you notice, his legs and his arms are coming to the middle to meet, all right? Whereas I'm going to do just a regular crunch, standard crunch. So my hands are gonna be behind my head and I'm just gonna pull my shoulders off the ground and put them back down, okay? All right, and we'll do about five of those for you. Okay, ready?
Great. Now for the last exercise, we're going to do lunge jumps. Ryder will go ahead and demonstrate the lunge jump with the jump, and I will do the demonstrate. I will do the modified version where you take the jump out. So Ryder, go ahead and show the lunge jump. Okay, great. And the modified version will look like this. So instead of jumping, you are just going to do some repeat reverse lunges. So you will lunge back, come to the center, and just do the step out instead of doing the jump. Okay? All right. For circuit number three, the exercises will be a straight arm plank plus some shoulder taps, power skips that we will be doing in place, and heel touches. So to start, we'll start off with our plank with our shoulder taps. Now with this, we're going to be in a straight arm plank. Okay, for this, you want to be sure that your feet, you have a nice wide stance with your feet. What you want to avoid is when you do your shoulder tap, is twisting your body from side to side. You want your hips to stay nice and square and facing the floor at all times. Okay, so we'll show how to do this. Okay, so I'm gonna tap my shoulder. Notice how my hips stay nice and square. I'm not rotating back and forth. Okay. All right, that's the plank with the shoulder tap. Now we'll move into the power skips. Now, Ryder's going to show you with the jump, I will show you without the jump. So with the power skip, you're going to stand in place. Again, your arms, very important, are helping to pull you up off of the ground. Okay, good job. The modified version of this will look, you just take out the jump. So instead of jumping, you're just gonna come up and just maybe come up on your toes a little bit, but you're not coming off of the ground. Okay, and just stand in place and do a few of those. All right, all righty. And finally, we're gonna end with some heel touches. Now with these, you want to be sure that your heels are far enough away that when you go to try to touch them, you are working your sides, your obliques. So you should feel it in your sides. So if you're not feeling it in your sides, you might be doing something wrong. You might want to make an adjustment, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and keep my feet kind of far away. Again, you don't actually have to touch your heel. It's the motion of moving towards your heel that is going to work those sides. Okay, so I'm just going to move back and forth. So it's almost a half circle. It's a, it's a half circle motion, really. Okay, so just back and forth. Okay. All right. Okay, that wraps up circuit three. Thanks, everybody.